glory, glory be to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I thank God for this opportunity that I'm having right now to come back to life and to share what God spoke to me with you. Glory adoration to the name of mighty God. Let us pray. Father, I just want to thank you for this moment. Lord God in heaven, if you are God that really sent me, let your sheep hear your word. And may sure this message get to every sheep according to your word in the book of John chapter 10, verse 27. Father, let this message get to the sheep because when sheep hear the voice of you, God, they will come and connect stand in instruction and in revelation you are revealing to them because they believe you. Therefore, Lord, I pray this message we get to the sheep in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I give you praise. I magnify your holy name. I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. The Bible tells me in First Timothy, First Timothy chapter four, verse nine. I want you to listen to this very well. First Timothy chapter four, verse nine. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance. I want you to listen for the message God spoke to me around 3.20 p.m. in California, United States of America. Listen to this, please, children of God. The end time is much, much approach more than ever before. The Lord has sent me again with the revelations message in which he gave to me 3.20 p.m. 3.20 p.m. I got a message. My food was served, and as I'm eating, toward the end of the food, and the Lord called me, he started telling me this. He started telling me this message about lying spirit, about lying spirit. God made me understand that the ministers that were praying, seeking his face strongly. I want you to get this clear. Very, very important. Because I want everybody to hear me clearly. And I pray God is going to give every one of us understanding of this truth. The Lord spoke to me said there are ministers of God that were in need, especially Africa, Nigeria. I want you to listen to this. It show it to me. Why eating? He said, I should look at them. He said, their own way of understanding in righteousness, very perfect. But they did not teach the sheep they were shepherding the truth. They only pray and give them the word of blessings. Is that they don't emphasize on righteousness. And that does not make some of the members and some of those who were shepherding on to take the kingdom of God serious because they used to 
the word of blessing. And if you want to notice their act relating to what is happening, especially about this present, they were after victory, mostly. But what gave birth to what is happening now, they are not concerned. What God is using this season to do, they are not concerned. The righteousness, the Lord God is trying to awake the world to. He trying to awake the world to. For them to know he created the world. They don't let them say it. They are much more in the area of victory over coronavirus. The Lord told me, because some have pronounced some powerful prayer globally, no much effect on what they are pronounced. And some of these people are sick in the face of God. And they are coming out with a different message. I want you to listen, this is very important. They are going to come out with different message, which is not ego that speaks to them. I'm going to break everything down for us. We are going to see. God is after the souls. No matter what you got here, if it cannot build the souls to the kingdom of God, it's useless. You get money, you get wealth. If your wealth does not bring souls to the kingdom of God, forget it. Abraham and his foundations of faith, righteousness, who believe God and walk according to the will of God in his life. It was distinctly blessed. One, he made sure he imparted God into all those who are working with him. Being called by God does not limit its righteousness to himself. He expanded to all his servants. Remember in chapter 24 of Genesis when he said one of his chief servants to go to his family to look for a wife for his son. He cried unto God. He refused to relent into his own understanding. He want God to give accurate decision on who he want for Isaac as a wife. Listen carefully. He refused to relent on his own understanding, but he cried to God. And God listened to him. God, hear him. I want you to listen to this very well. Listen to this very well. Abraham shows and reveals the truth of righteousness. And he lived with it. He release it on his son, Isaac. The perfection of truth in relationship of God was established on Isaac because he saw how his father lived before he passes away. But most of minister today were after blessing, the physical blessing, 
we are after the physical success we are after the how these people be blessed and remember us in tight and offering and that is why you can see them crying now when people cannot walk when people cannot make money when people you know i don't really know those who live shack to shack how can they get money asking them to come and pay tithe online you got it to listen god is talking about all these people he wants the sheep to listen and to aware what is about to happen they should not relent or have confidence in most of the messages of blessing the power of god is on them no doubt about it it's just like the time when god depart from eli eli refuse what god is expecting from him imparting the righteousness upon the children and they become wayward god started preparing samuel he revealed the wrong of his life god spoke to him and make him to understand the truth about what he God is going to do on Eli. Try to get his understanding. Because some of you are there, I live preparing and believe in second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, or when you close your eyes out of this wall for you. To make heaven and that the truth gospel if not jesus christ will not tell us seek ye his kingdom and his righteousness and all the things shall be added unto you get understanding that is what christ said Have you forgotten in the Bible say, if your way pleases God, it make your enemy to be at peace with you. You don't need to struggle for victory. It's going to work it out for you. But the one that is important with God, according to the word of our Lord Jesus Christ, righteousness, righteousness if you know you've been misled don't mislead yourself if you don't know anything you know how to study the wall you know how you can go to the wall thank god for the ministers of god they were called to lead it through they were called to establish the kingdom of god in your life i used the word jeremiah yesterday and i'm going back to read the book of jeremiah chapter 50. jeremiah the book of jeremiah chapter 50 i'm going to read verse 6 i will read verse 6 jeremiah i'm still trying to open it father thank you jeremiah Thank you, Father. 
my people had been lost sheep listen my people have been lost sheep their shepherd have caused them to go astray they have turned them away on the mountains they have gone from mountain to hill they have forgotten their resting place that is what the shepherd did that is what they do i want you to listen very very well god is making me to understand they are coming out with a different message of assurance of victory they are not going to hear anything relating to what he god is doing preparing souls making them to to, to look at the way of righteousness for them not to be gained to hell. For them not to be gained to the heart of Satan. For them not to be gained and lose their place in heaven. I'm going to read First King. Chapter 22, verse 22. And the Lord said unto him, Where are we? And he said, I will go forth. And I will be a light spirit in the mouth of of his prophet and he said thou shalt persuade him and prevail also go forth and do so that the light spirit comes to god because god has seen the time to avenge on king he has come and he saw that he's interested in thinking what God did not give to Israel. And the Lord said, what can I do? And the light spirit come. And it deceived 400 prophets. The word of true prophet is very hard to listen to. Micaiah was not accepted. Micaiah was not accepted. It's not even can to be a good minister of God, a good prophet of God. That speak what God wanting his people to hear and wanting want them to know to live in the right part of his kingdom. No. The 400 prophet are far from that. No, they are far from it. But Micaiah, only one man of God, is the only one the spirit of lying did not walk on. Though it's very impossible. Very, very impossible. By understanding of men. But people don't understand God is not in multitude because God's standard is greater and mightier than multitude. 400 multitude. Micaiah, one prophet, one, one prophet is the only one. I'm not trying to say I'm, I'm the only, no, 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 no. I know a lot of ministers of God are there. And I've said it. We've not had the voice of truth one. The Lord told me they are coming. They are going to reveal more. Their eyes is being opened to actual truth of coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. I don't want you to relax for wrong. God does not want you to relax for wrong. He does not want you to believe the word of excitement. It's deceive to feel comfortable around 
and eternity you will lose. I pray that this message will get to you. You will get understanding in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. One thing I believe in book of John chapter 10 John 10 I would like you to listen to this very well verse 25 26 and 27 Jesus answered them I told you ye believe not the work that I do in my father's name they bear witness of me but ye believe not because ye are not of my sheep as I said unto you verse 27 my sheep hear my voice I know them and they follow me the sheep of Jesus Christ when truth come the bow they follow him when they connected not to separate them look at circles circles he is the one looking for Jesus because he's one of the sheep the truth had to come Look at when our Savior began to raise disciples. Peter is a fisherman. But he noticed that it's something unique. And was connected with Jesus Christ. Patiently listen to the message. And no wonder as many that believe in him. That what scripture say. As many that believe. In Jesus Christ you are not going to miss anything the sign and the beauty of his glory was strongly you know rested upon you right God in beauty of his glory he has started something on the heart for every eyes to see for you to believe for you to see, for you to be aware that the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ is right at hand, very, very close. You to think about it. Something have to create something that is affecting the whole world. Think about it. From the pit of hell, from the pit of hell, you better hear this. From the pit of hell, the knowledge of Satan come upon his own on the heart. When we're talking about 5G, somebody sent me a video, a video clip on what's up. In London, in the street of London, this technician are walking when everybody was at home. And he asked, she asked him, she said, what are you doing? They said, oh, yeah, they are working, but everybody at home. But he said, well, they call me, I need to go to go and walk. You know, ask him, are you working on the 5G line? And he said, yes. And the lady looked at him, are you out of your mind? You know that this thing is killing? You know, ask her, are you still having parents? He said, yeah, my dad is gone, but I said, have my mom. So you want to kill your mother for money? And you yourself will die? He said, well, it's everybody. Woo. Somebody send out on the clip. United Kingdom currency, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, brand new 20 pounds. The 5G antenna was there, glitching, showing. And uh, now this money has been printed. I don't really know when it's been printed. And there is coronavirus. 
at the top of the edge of this currency. Hello? Don't let the world deceive you. I thank God for our president, Donald Trump. I pray the Lord will keep you. Because he understands little. He has fought some battle by testimony that I have. Relating to this issue. For not to let it happen. I pray the world will listen to the truth. The world have to call the attention. The world have to fight for themselves. You better fight. By rejecting negativity, come to the heart of God. Understand the truth of God. Understand what God is revealing to us. Hey! Devil is trying hard to blind people not to see the truth. But what I'm happy about, it is easy for the sheep of our Lord Jesus Christ to recognize the voice of him. It doesn't matter who he's speaking from. I know he's speaking through me now. He's the one sending me to relay this message. Is the one revealed this message to me. And I'm begging every one of us. And the light spirit is going to bring different type of messages that will get to your understanding. I see what you are hearing is normal. It's not normal. It's an empowerment to engage you, prepare you, for the uh, uh, for the for the for, for for this demons and principality kingdom that are about to take over the wall. Because what do you want to do? They are trying to eliminate some people now. The program, whatever they are doing, very well. Any old person, this coronavirus, you know, he, they are dying, they are dying, they are dying. They are dying. They are, they are building different type of places whereby they're going to pack all these people. Hey, get on a Sunday. But to those who know God, the abundant grace of God is up upon you. It's not going to work on you until the rapture takes place. But God has wanted to fall out to be in the sweet part of the world and sing will be rolling in your heart. Sing will be rolling in your doing. No, no. The Bible says no unrighteous thing. No unrighteous thing will enter therein. No, it's not going to happen. Don't feel comfortable and wrong. God does not want you to feel comfortable and wrong. God does not want you to feel comfortable comfortable and wrong because wrong will take you out it's going to take you out from the fullness of God if you look at what Deuteronomy chapter 11 16 says I'm going to read it Deuteronomy Chapter 11, verse 16. Take ye to yourself that your heart be not deceived, and ye turn aside and serve other gods and worship them. You know, a lot of people don't know they are trying to bow for the kingdom. The kingdom of Satan that is trying to come with his own power, he hasn't come now. The preparation is huge. The acting is huge. They've started. Our attention is calling to our memory for all to know Jesus will soon come. 
I had a message from Brother Bully. He's a man of God. I remember I was giving this analysis. I didn't know the years he prayed the message. And exactly what he pronounced, which God revealed to him, the detail of it is what is happening right now. The part of what he said is still ahead. And I know with what God is making me to understand now, those words have not yet to come to pass. I will see that it's coming to pass because I receive it myself. Satan wanted to take the children of God out of awareness. He wanted to lure them to watch. We keep them away from truth and they will be able to go to hard fire. A place that no redemption because I want to show you something. The book of Revelation chapter 19 verse 20 and the beast was taken and with him the first prophet that wrought miracle before him with which he deceived get it which we deceived them that have received the mark of the beast and them that watched his image this boat was cast alive into a lake of fire, body with bristle. Listen, the mark of the beast is the sheep. I saw it today. A lot of people are getting it already. Look at my hand here. I saw some people having it here in this place. They put it some in their palm. Be careful. And when you go to the hospital, make sure you understand what they are trying to put into you. I'm just telling you the truth. But the Lord has promised me something. In the about three weeks ago when I was crying before God in this office. You see? It's a it's mercy is with me. The grace of God, abundant grace, and his mercy is with us. That's why I'm not worried. I don't care what is happening, but I, I care that I stand in the righteous path of God. I walk with God. Please. This is the void that cried in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord. Ah, prepare the way of the Lord. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 30 says, But the evil man and seducer shall was was and was deceiving being deceived hey. wow be careful the voice is coming from the widow that prepare the word of the law you are not going to be captured with the deceive no it will happen and that's why God is releasing this word to you. You are going to be discarded and lose. You are not going to be engaged with this power of darkness that is coming upon the heart to dominate and take over the world for destruction of souls. And gain all those souls to hell because when you listen to them, you become part of them. When you walk with them, you become part of them. And listen, 
and it's going to be for a few time the tormentation will come deny you without the mark you don't be able to buy food you don't be able to do this you cannot have money in the bank you cannot have this you cannot have that hey the introduction has begun be careful stick with jesus hold on to jesus start with jesus god god is there for you that is why he's giving all this opportunity by revealing his heart to us for all to be able to stand in the truth i remember a brother was sending the message and he said it with passion because he he has a physical understanding of what he's saying. But the spiritual behind of what is even, you know, try to let people understand for them to relax for wrong. To the extent that he's talking against the prophecy, the truth, God's war that is coming. He spoke it in the Yoruba. At the same time, he said he's going to say it in English. He tells where he's walking, he's making us to understand what 5G is doing, what is happening in China, and this side is happening. What about Corona? 5G is not the one that caused Corona problem. Corona is being released from by Antichrist government. That wanted to rule the world for them to gain access of the whole world to themselves to be in charge when that thing cover everywhere they are the one that going to come with solution they will have the drug to kill us when everybody when they when the solution is coming from china everybody buy the drug from china they're not going to teach you how to do it because it is they are doing little by little they divide everything to themselves and now the power will come to control the whole world if you don't do this or you get a ship they can monitor you when you are sleeping they know where you go they know even when ship is not even coming with your seven people monitor you now but they want you to carry that yourself in your body what they are doing to monitor you around with your cell phone is going to be in your body. Either you carry cell phone, you don't carry cell phone, it, it doesn't really matter anymore. Because that one is more effective. It's just to enslave the heart. To enslave the wall for self profit and that's why god is speaking to understand a lot of pastors are coming out i'm repeating it that's what my lord is telling me they were seeking his face they were seeking his face they are coming with a message of comfort to you he says it's not him that is speaking don't listen all you need to do now is to prepare your way, live right. The message of our Lord Jesus Christ has not changed. So seek ye the kingdom of God first and his righteousness. Every other thing shall be added unto you. And the Bible puts it made us understand. He said, if your way pleases God, he make your enemy to be at peace with you. Think about it. That means the fullness of righteousness we lead you to the fullness of beautiful glory blessing of god eternity you are cover lucky not your portion please let's think let's reason let's get understanding that they deceive that is coming messages of deceive that will make you to feel a lot of wrong 
feel comfortable around through the safe. We don't walk over you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As I said, the sheep of our Lord Jesus Christ, we understand the cries of Christ. We understand the cry and the voice of Christ. They can easily connect it and amend their way and walk with God and live by God and do His will. I pray that grace will come upon you as you listen to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever, however, Satan is trying to apply his power or whatever else there wanted to get your attention for all today and put it by the power that in the name of Jesus that spoke to me to declare this message to you. We lose you. You will not be connected with deceive in the name of Jesus Christ. Job 15, 34. Let not him that he deceive trust in vanity, for vanity shall be his recompense. Hey, Aluhayaba. What is the compensation that behind vanity? If you think about it, it's disaster. It's horrible. It's, it's not something anybody could bear. I remember the rich man told Abraham in heaven, he said, let <laughs> oh my, 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 my. The one that is counting to be the poor man that is eating the food from his table. That he doesn't even care to know Lazarus. So let it dip his hand. Look at you. You're thinking about it. Think about it. The food will fall on his table. And you see me say, take away that dirty man. And, and I, mean, I don't want to see him. In heaven, he now asking that one that is telling not to get closer to him to dip his hand into water. Just a drop. God is mighty. Ha! I fear God. Let's take children of God. I'm talking to children of God. I'm talking to those who have been redeemed. I'm talking to sheep of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm talking to those who have been redeemed through the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm talking to those who accepted him. Those who know and have understanding about his second coming. And those who know that indeed a place has been prepared for you in heaven. Those who are waiting because the scripture tells me as many that believe in Jesus Christ they purify themselves Examine themselves every day to make sure they are told of righteousness. The demons of principality, the things of this world, we don't take them away. The world have come to the wise. Let's wise connected to the truth. Let the beauty of his glory rest upon you. And be careful of messages of comfort that will be coming out. It's not for any other thing. Trust me. But they will remember that you are struggling to eat. They will remember the situation you have right now. That devil will keep on telling them wrong message. For their self losses To be increased. Because some of them is going to be affected. Because money is no more coming. No more crowd. Coming to church. No more crowd coming to church. 
and the bill need to be paid. B need to be paid. B have to be paid. I beg you, by the precious power that in the name of Jesus, you will not lose Jesus. Your souls will not go to hell in the name of Jesus Christ. The truth will surely establish in you the grace and endurance for the end time. Heaven will release it upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. When you believe him, when you believe him, when you believe him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, the King of Kings. The Lily of Judah be glorified. Be magnified because you've spoken again. You call the attention of people to truth for them to see what is coming to their way. Lord, I pray that this life spirit will not engage your people to deceive them out of the truth that which you imparted to them. In the name of Jesus Christ, because your word made us hold us up. If elect one did not careful, they will be deceived. Lord, I characterize every evil war that is coming, Lord, to seduce your people. Father, I pray that the power of your glory, O oh Lord, will rest upon them. They will understand what you call. Lord, I thank you because your word is coming to me. It's that those who, Father, have given to you that you kept. Lord, I believe to those who kept, they will not be taken. And you will not be taken. In the name of Jesus, I said you will not be taken. In the name of Jesus, you will not be taken. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray right now. Whatever may be your need, because of this scarcity, that the very faith of a provision will come to you. I said, will come to you. I said, it will come to you. In the name of Jesus, every finances that is having trouble right now, Lord, in life of your children, I declare the blessing of God upon you in Jesus' mighty name. Let there be a divine provision. Let there be a divine provision. Let there be a divine provision for you in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for your faith. Your faith will grow higher. We be strong. We be mighty. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you. Glory and adoration to your mighty name. In Jesus' precious redeemer, I prayed and amen. And amen. And amen.